This is the preview for Power Book 2 Season 2, Episode 10, Love and War. The season finale is finally coming. Everything that happened led to her. It's Mac the Guru. Make sure you subscribe. Now, the big thing coming off of last episode is Lauren alive. Did Effie just knock her off or do she got her somewhere? That's my first instinct, my first thought, all right? Effie ain't knock her off, but she got her somewhere tied up or, you know, Lauren can't move somewhere. She got the tape on her mouth. Tariq got to go save her. And we get in the preview a lot of Tariq and Effie. It's going to break Effie hard when he let her know. No, we got to go get Lauren. Or if he, or if she did something to Lauren. If Lauren gone, I think Effie and Tariq going to be done. Because I think he definitely going to find out. I think either Effie going to break down and just tell him. Or Kane will let him know. Or Brayden. Somebody going to let him know. It's going to come out. And when it do... His first priority is going to be trying to get Lauren. Because his instincts is telling him right. These other two girls, they scheming. They scandalous. They always uh, doing something like behind his back. With Effie, it go way back to when they was kids. She always been scheming. <laughs> then we seen Diana hit him with the tears. Cried on him. You know, and I'm similar. You never want to see a woman cry. I get it. But come on, dog. You got to still keep one eye open. But both of them scheming. So, of course, his instincts is saying, Lauren, she ain't in the game. She the good one. And he right. <laughs> Lauren wasn't trying to get him on that wire. She wasn't. She ain't no. She ain't no no better. She didn't know no better, so he got to try to go save her. Then we got the teams. We knew the teams was coming. We seen how it was breaking down for the longest. But the teams is finally here. But it's a couple people on the team that's, you know, a little shaky. One foot in, one foot out. So on one side of the teams, you got Kane, Monet, Mecca, Zeke would be over there, but Zeke, you know, he, he going through a lot right now. Then on the other side, you got Lorenzo, you got Diana, and Drew. Which one going to win? What do y'all think? Who do you think going to come out on top? Because I definitely think somebody going to get knocked off this episode 10. At least one of them. Somebody. Somebody got to go. And I now see, <clears throat> no, my voice didn't crack, but I now see what direction they going in. I think they going to knock off more people, especially season three, and then most likely do a time jump. I'm going to do a separate video on that, but I, I can see them really going in that direction. But, these two teams, they going to at, go at it. The problem is, who can you trust? Can they really trust each other? I mean, just from the preview. Kane look like he got one foot in, one foot out. Monet and Mecca look like they on different pages too. I mean, really think about it. With everybody lying, Mecca just seen Monet lie in to Zeke, even though he backed her up. When she told him she ain't had nothing to do with Carrie. Yeah. He know she was lying. All these people are around each other and they all know they liars. Can't trust none of them. This is the biggest problem right now with the dynamic with all their relationships. So it's going to be a lot of people one foot in, one foot out. Then from the previews, it looked like Tariq. And Kane going to do some type of business, some type of work together. They going to go handle something. And what I like is I believe 
Tariq going to be taking charge this time. Usually, Kane and Tariq, when they get together, it's like Kane be like, hey, punk, you're going to be doing this. You know, talking to him crazy, pushing him around. But I don't think that's how it's going to go, you know. I think Tariq going to be on 10 when he find out something went wrong with Lauren. And he just going to be telling people, now this is how it's going to go, you know. Then we also got Brayden. Brayden is going to court. Will Braden snitch? We know him and Tariq relationship is rocky right now. We know he didn't do what he was supposed to do with Lauren. But no, nah, I don't think Braden going to snitch. It's actually better that he's taking the stand. Because if not him, then who? His brother. Oh, God. You know, his brother just started telling it all. But no re- I'm like, why is his brother just sitting here telling the cops everything? <laughs> So Braden got to take the stand. Can't let his brother take the stand. That would be like an epic, tragic failure. Because his brother's just going to get up there and tell the, the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. So Braden going to take the stand, and I think he going to come through strong. I think Braden going to come through strong for Tariq because he always do, you know. And I think he going to come through strong for Tariq twice the next episode. If Lauren not gone, I think when Tariq go get Lauren, Tariq might need some type of saving, you know, because Kane going to want to knock Lauren off. Drew, you know, the Tejadas, if they figure out about that Lauren situation, they going to want to, yeah, whack her real quick, you know. That might be who Drew got the gun. I don't know who Drew got this gun on in this this thing, it looked like a woman by just looking at it because you could see the hair. But I don't know who Drew got the gun on. And it almost looked like somebody comes up and grabs him, stops him from doing something, you know. But however it go, I think it's going to be a big situation. And Brayden going to have to be there for Tariq to get him out of it. So I think Brayden going to come through strong in the court and then strong in another situation. But y'all let me know, what do you think about the season finale? Who you think going to win with the two teams? Do you think Lauren gone? I don't think so. Y'all let me know what y'all think then happened to Lauren. You know, I'm going to do a bunch of separate side videos on Power this week. So we're going to touch on everything leading up. Because it's leading up to the season finale. Then, uh-oh, here come Force right behind it. No, I'm doing that. So it, it it's getting good, man. I like I like uh that they didn't built it up eight, nine, ten episodes. Gave us a lot of information. You know. It's Mac the Guru. If you're still here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that like button. Peace.